Today, I am going to talk about receiving new ear mold impressions. Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is Emily. I am the creator of Definite Hearing. I created this channel as a way to support those who are deaf and hard of hearing. I have a hearing loss myself in both ears and it's rated as moderate to severe, and I have it because it's genetic. I was born with my hearing loss and fit with hearing aids at about four months of age. I'm so glad you're on my channel today. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I just wanna say that there are so many people that watch these videos and don't subscribe, and man, if you subscribe, you get on a list of people to receive notifications when I release my videos. And so please subscribe. I'm so excited to make more great content. And if you're here for this, you're going to want to stick around for more because hearing losses are an adventure and I am going to keep releasing content and it will make you think of things that you're like, oh my goodness, that's why this is that way or this is how I can help that family member or friend. And so please, don't miss the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I will let you know how often ear molds need to be replaced. So let's talk about getting new ear molds. I hope you caught my last video on how ear mold impressions are made. So what happens is after these impressions are made, your audiologist will send these impressions to an ear mold manufacturer. I've heard of Emtech or Microsonic. There may be other brands. If you know of other brands, I wanna hear about them in the comments below. But your audiologist will send these impressions to this ear mold manufacturer. They will create a mold and make your ear mold and send it back to you. When you receive your ear mold back, you want to inspect it for any issues that may be there. So let's talk about some issues that you could notice in your brand new ear mold. Number one, color. So a lot of ear molds are advertised either in sample swatches on a ring or online. I recently got my ear mold impressions done, as you saw, and ordered my ear molds. My audiologist sent me a picture of my ear molds. Check it out. She said, is this what you were expecting in your ear mold color? And I said, no, not at all, because this is what I thought they would look like. They are two completely different things. So I asked her if they could be remade. She called the company and they said that sadly, people have been complaining need about how much glitter they put in. So unless you specify you want an extra amount of glitter, they will not put very much glitter in the mold. Which to me, as an advertiser, seems like false advertising. It seems like you would at least put that as the picture with the less glitter and say, hey, if you want more, please let us know. Rather than, this is the mold color. And then you get this ear mold back that like looks like it has no glitter in it at all. So glad they are willing to remake that. So when you get your ear molds back, check the color. Are the colors right? If you choose swirl ear molds, you might notice that one color is there more predominantly than another. Now, they can't make these perfect, but if the colors are super far off base, do say something. Don't be afraid to say something you stand up for yourself. That can be an exhausting thing as having a hearing loss, but hopefully you have an audiologist that understands and notices, wait, that was advertising correctly. Let's get this color fixed and really press them to do so. Sometimes you request a color and it comes back and you feel like it doesn't look as good as maybe you thought you would. If it matches the color that's advertised, that's what you got. But clearly, as you can see, my glitter molds did not match what I felt was advertised. Thankfully, like I said, they were able to redo it. The next thing you want to look for in your ear molds is any inconsistencies in the material. This could include bubbles, overlapping parts, little tears, or areas that look worn. These are new ear molds. They should look like one solid piece of silicone or whatever material you have them made in. Some ear molds for receiver in the canal hearing aids are solid resin. And so you should notice that it looks solid. There should not be any air bubbles, tears, inconsistencies, or anything like that. There may be a blue and a red dot on each mold or some writing. That's normal so that you can identify which mold goes in what ear. Red is for right and blue is for left. Once you have inspected your molds, your audiologist will measure the tube on the new mold and cut it and put it on your hearing aid. Now, hopefully you don't have any feedback issues or anything with this mold, but if you do notice any in the office, go ahead, test it out, make sure there's not a lot of feedback. If there's any issues, please let your audiologist know. Now, you may leave the audiologist's office and notice that over time your ear is sore or you start getting ear pimples or it just doesn't feel right or you have feedback issues. This is not normal. If you experience any of these issues, take it back to your audiologist. Your audiologist can either sand down certain parts of the mold to relieve pressure points or they can make a new mold. I've heard of stories where audiologists have had to remake molds about 
four times because of incorrect fitting. So though unfortunate, if you're gonna be wearing this all the time like you should with hearing aids, you want to make sure your molds fit right. Also, one thing I want to point out is most ear mold manufacturers have an ear mold warranty. This can be anywhere from 30 to 90 days from the time that you get your mold. But it's important when you get these new molds to ask your audiologist, do these molds have a warranty? If so, how long is it? They will reply and keep that in mind. If you notice that the mold causes you ear discomfort or anything out of the normal, that you have this warranty to an act essentially. So there you have it. There are some things to be aware of when you get new ear molds. Remember, these are your ear molds. These are gonna be your best friends along with your hearing aids. So make sure they're the right color and the right fit. If not, talk with your audiologist. I'm so glad you stuck around to the end of this video. I wanna let you know that you should expect to get new ear molds anywhere between six months to a year. I say anywhere between six months to a year because when a child is growing, they may have to get them more often because their ears are changing so much. But between the ages of about 18 and 50, your ear stays pretty much the same. So about every year. You'll notice if you need to change your ear mold that they get yellow, brittle, cracked, or start falling apart. I hope that helps you. If you have any questions about new ear molds, what to expect or what to watch for, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I promise more good content is coming and I love making videos for all of you. Thanks so much. I hope you have a great day.